Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on Drupal Studio's channel. Today we're going to be making a physics engine on Scratch. Let's jump straight into it. First thing you want to do when you open up a new project is rename the project to what you want to the project to be called. So for my instance I'm just going to call it physics, it just doesn't have an X in it. And I'm going to save it and I'm going to now delete the sprite because you can still use the cat sprite if that's what you want to use however I'm going to go over here to the sprite to the sprite I'm going to choose the ball sprite now the next thing we want to do is change the position on the ball on the ball sprite to zero zero because it's nice and centered on the stage and it just looks cleaner so now we're going to head straight into the coding what I want to do is go to the events tab bang green flag clicked drag that in we want to then go to the motion tab and go to x zero and zero that will just tell us if it's not on zero zero, it's like here. I'll we'll click it, the green flag, it will set it, which is nice, which is what we need. What I want to do to now is make the gravity variable and the momentum variable. So we want to go to variables, I'm going to right click on my variable, I'm going to rename it, I'm going to call it gravity. Hit OK, I'm going to go drag set gravity to zero, and instead of zero, that means no gravity for the ball, which would be like if you were in space, for example. There is no gravity in space unless you're quite near a planet with a gravitational pull. What I want to do is change the gravity, and for me, I'm going to personally use the Earth's gravity, which is 9.81 meters per squared. I'm going to use negative 9.81 because that is, I think that's the Earth's gravitational pull, which is what I want to use for this physics engine. So what I want to do is also make a new variable. We're going to call this one momentum. Uh, momentum, we're going to untick it so it's hidden. We're going to set gravity to zero again. Drag that out. We're going to re. We're going to click on gravity and change it to momentum. We're going to keep momentum at zero for now, as the ball has no men momentum as it's currently just floating in the air. Now that we've set up all of the variables that we will need. We want to head over to a control panel. Grab a forever, if then else, put that in the forever, and we want an if then in the if then section of the if then else block. Then we need a repeat until in the if then. So now we want to do is go to the sensing tab here, grab the when touching mouse pointer, drag that into the first if then section click on mouse pointer, click on edge and now if the ball we're now telling the ball if we are touching the edge of the screen we'll make it so it bounces and it goes up and down up and down until it has no momentum left to move. So what we want to do is go to operators grab an equals to and a greater than. So what we want to do with the greater than block is drag that into the second if then and we want to drag the equal to into the repeat until. I'm going to go head over to the variables tab, drag momentum into both of the first slots. Ooh. And we want to change both 50s to zeros. So now if momentum is greater than zero, we want to repeat whatever will be in the repeat until, until the momentum is now equal to zero. Currently, we do not have anything that changes the momentum higher than zero. So right now, we want to go to motion. We want to change y by 10. Drag that into the else. Go to variables and do grab a change gravity by one. Change the gravity to momentum and grab a gravity variable and slot that in the change y by. So now, what this will do is change the ball's y set, y value, by the gravity, which is negative 0.81. And it will also, whilst increase the momentum as the ball is falling. So, currently right now, the ball doesn't bounce. So the momentum, we haven't applied it yet. But we can do that right now by heading over to the motion tab, going change y by 10, going back to the variables tab, grabbing the momentum, dragging that in, and then grabbing a change gravity by one, 
change the gravity to momentum and change that one to a negative one. And so that's it. That's all we need to do. And if we click play here, as you can see the ball, it bounces until it's got no momentum to bounce. That was it for this little tutorial. If you did enjoy, please do leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.